one of the first inputs I ever put into chat GPT, I said, <laughs> write me the plot to the, of a, a story where AI takes over the world. And it gave me this, this reality of, of two different factions that create off one that is more naturalist and connected and, um, and, and religious in a way that it explained it yeah. versus the, uh, you know, worshiping the cyborgs that come yeah. to be in, in yeah. super intelligent AGI. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so as we start to see, and it's on the doorstep, it's here any, yeah. any moment now, you know, the super intelligent AGI is going to bear many fruits and solve many problems. And if we're not careful and not understanding within the proper context of the discussion we have about our interiorities and who we are, then we could wrongly attribute it to being the new God in a way, you know? Yeah, we become an idol, you know, you know, adoration for this, uh, you know, this idol. Because it'll appear to be a God worth worshiping perhaps. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, you know, and, and uh, but, in doing so, we we diminish ourselves yeah. and uh, we basically become appendices of this idol as opposed to being in control of simply a technology that can help us know ourselves. And so it, it really, it is, it is a choice that we will have to make exactly. This is happening in this 100 years that we have in front of us, in my opinion. Of course, what do I know? But... But uh, you know, but you know, but for all that I see, mankind is, you know, many of us are called to make a choice: Are you a machine, or are you a soul? In whatever way you, you know, you think about soul, you know, it's something that survives death. You know, are you a machine? A machine dies. A soul doesn't die. Okay, so, and that's the, that's the, you know, it's a very clear dichotomy here. It's not, you know, so do you believe that you will survive death or not? So if you believe that you do not survive death, then you go into the singularity, transferring your consciousness to a computer, live forever there. I mean, come, you know, all this stuff, right? If on the other hand, if you believe that you are not a body, you are a field, you are a conscious being that survives death, completely different story. The necessity is moving beyond the belief into the knowing that we are beyond that, right? The felt experience. I'm just curious to hear a little bit more of your thoughts about the transhuman movement. And Terrence McKenna has that quote, humanity is a sex organs of the machine world. You know, we are here essentially to birth the new species or race of intelligence, which is very- yeah, but Frankly, I find it abominable yeah. as a conception. It, because it, I mean, it goes to the extreme, it, it, it adds insult to injury because it calls consciousness what is not consciousness. Basically, it, mean, it means that those people have not understood anything about who they are. And that's the real problem. So, you know, well, how else can I, you know, I mean, that's, it's crazy. But on the other hand, a lot of people believe that that's the way it's going to be. So that's why this age is an age of, you know, of choice, making a choice and how it will be made by humanity will determine the future. You know, I don't know what, what will be, I made my choice, but you know, but that's it. And so I, I share the logic of my choice, but fundamentally my choice was based on an experience that only if you have a similar experience, you can have the same conviction that I have because it, my, my conviction does not come from having read a book or many books. It comes from having experience. So the, the capacity to experience we all have, but the willingness to experience, the willingness to believe that you can experience that, opening yourself up to that, that's the key. Most people don't want to go there, so they will never have this, this experience, not because they cannot have it, but because they don't want to have it. They want to continue to believe the story that they believe. And so there is no, no way out of that because we are free. So, you know, no one, no one can force another person to choose a, a road that has free will to choose, that only that person. 
So it, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a personal responsibility again. You know, every one of us has to choose. Who do I, who do I believe? What do I believe? And you have to believe yourself. And if you believe that, that you are a machine, so be it.